Hey, how are we doing guys? Gray here and today we've got our week four battle of the CGT. We're going up against Jess Lucas and his Hellblaze Volcaronas. In what should be a really entertaining battle, he's got really, really threatening mons like uh, Galarian Darmanitan, <coughs> excuse me, uh, Dracovish, and of course the Quagsire in the back. Um, I'm not sure if the Quagsire is going to come to this game, it doesn't have the best matchup um, in my opinion, but you know, he brings it against me every time and it always puts him work, so I wouldn't be surprised if we see Quag. Um, but yeah, make sure you go check out my opponent. Uh, his link will be down in the description below, as well as all the other coaches for the CGT this season. We started off quite poorly, so we're looking to at least like have a good showing. Like two 4 0 losses in the first three weeks is far from ideal, but um, yeah, we're, we're just looking for a good showing. Even if we don't win, hopefully we can make it close. And uh, if you are enjoying battles, then please do leave a like, subscribe for more Draft League content. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the battle. I will see you guys there. Okay, so here we are for the game, and I've just realised I don't have any of the layout or anything like that. I'm just going to carry on. I've kept this man waiting long enough. We are going up against just Lucas and his Hellblaze Volcaronas. I still think that's his name. Um, he brings no Dracovish, which I kind of expected. The chance is going to be annoying. Um, especially because I did change my... Um, a couple of my sets to not be able to take on a Chansey particularly well. Uh, Blacephalon is a huge threat, Darmanitan's a big threat. Um, everything else on this team is just very annoying for me to try and break through. Uh, Gorgeist is the one reason I'm not bringing Greedent. I would love to have played <laughs> brought it this week, but honestly it would just be 1v1 easily by the Gorgeist. So, yeah, um, looking at this, I feel like I can't let <laughs> Darmanitan lead off for free. Um, I think his leads are probably like Darmanitan, maybe Klefki, maybe Hippo to set up rocks, so I think that Urshpu is probably a decent lead. Um, outside of that, we're just kind of going <laughs> to wing it a little bit. Um, it's We've got our switch into, well I say switch in, we've got possibly on no prediction we've got a switch into Darmanitan in Ferrothorn. Um, other than that we have got our Rhyperia to attempt to switch into Blacephalon. So uh, we're going to click A, we're going to get into this. Um, I don't think either of us have particularly been playing our best Mons recently, but um, beside that, I think his team is still very good. He is a fantastic battler. He's just been having a bad time recently. So th th I'm absolutely not going to write him off. And let's get Urshifu up on the Calc. And Idol, that is going to be Cephalon. Not ideal. Yeah, I will say not ideal. Um, this could be Sash. Um, I think Jet is still a fine play. I could also just U-turn. I don't necessarily think he's going to want to stay in. I'm expecting the uh, the Aqua Jet. Um, I also don't want to take a stupid amount of damage on this unnecessarily. So, uh, I mean, Jet is fine because I can go into Neuvern on the Gorgeist. Possibly going over on Gorgeist. That would. I could also go into Ferrothorn. Either of those are fine. Um, so I'm just going to Aquajet turn one. He can go into Gorgeist by all means. Yeah, he's going to draw. Um, didn't feel like I needed to predict turn one. That is going to be the Clefki. Okay. Would like to have had momentum against this, but it is what it is. That still does a crazy amount of damage. Um, and I am just going to go. I think hard into Rope Area instead of a sub. Actually, it's I'm walled if it's Magnet Rise. It's just that sort of spikes. Um, I don't have Defog, so I think my way of dealing with that may well just be to... I think double. I think doubling is fine. Um, I kind of want to set up my spikes as well. If we can trade spikes, I think that's probably best case scenario. Uh, so he is going to withdraw. Isn't a gluttony. That is the hippo. Body press probably does do some damage here. Yeah, Powered on. Don't know why special wall is the first one that comes up. I think it's most likely going to be physical. Um, bold with body press. It's level 100. At 50. We should be all right. Um, I'm going to 
I want to set up a spike here, I think. Yeah, she's going to set up a spike. Trade spike for spike. He's just going to set up stealth rock. All these hazards going up are going to be a little bit annoying for me to deal with, but not the worst thing in the world. Yeah, so I'm more than happy just to trade spikes here. And I'm like... Go guys could be annoying, um, but I'm just going to put Gleech Seed anyway. Um, also, if my chair is really loud, it's because it keeps slipping down. And it's so, so annoying. Uh, I guess Jack, that's going to be the Lantern. Yep. Uh, lantern, that's going to be the Gore Guys. That looks actually quite small, so maybe this is offensive. Seize my leftovers. Um, so I just go for a Leech Seed. If this is a smaller Gore Geist, do I care too much about being burned? Um, not particularly if it's got Flamethrower, however. How much is Flamethrower doing? Fire Blast will do a lot of damage. Um, I don't particularly want to take that. At the same time, I don't particularly have great switch ins to this, so um, I think may have to just go into you and then you turn. Uh, man, having two Scarfers, not optimal in this situation, I think. But it's what it is. Um, I could also stay in and just. How much is Gyro? Gyro's doing a good amount if it is a smaller one. Uh, man, I don't want to stay in and take this hit really at all. So, yeah, I'm going to go out to Noivern. I'm going to use one of my turns of switching to get Noivern in. Going to take rocks. He's going to see that. Uh, his weakness policy. Interesting. He goes for the flame charge. That's going to do very little. However, that does get me a little bit worried. Um, I would say that. I think this is small. It's actually very difficult to tell. Um, how much is my Noivern doing? I mean, Flamethrower should knock it out from here. Um, Draco also would. So I'm just going to click Draco. By all means, he can switch. Uh, he doesn't know my item, so he may not want to take the potential for me being scarfed. We are going to click Draco. This should knock it out. Awesome. Okay. So that's one thing down. That's one one down. Um... What does that free up? That frees up uh, Rhyperior a little bit. It means that Ferrothorn is a little bit less likely to just kind of get destroyed on the Switch um, by a potential Fire Blast. I have no idea what. I mean, I'm glad they frisk the weakness policy, that's for sure. But we are going to pick up a kill at least. We did this against Matt with Neuburn. We picked up a kill early and then we didn't pick up another kill, so... Yeah. <laughs> I'm assuming the Chansey is going to come out here. Um, he could also just go Darm. Goes into Idol. That was the Blaze Cephalon. This thing does put a frustratingly high amount of pressure on my team. Um, you're still somewhat helpful, but at the same time, how much is a plus two or a minus two Draco doing to this thing? Uh, minus two is actually still doing a good amount. Um, do I need this for anything else? Realistically, no. It's not doing a whole lot more, so I'm just going to click Draco again. And just going to take my damage. Because unless this is a calm mindset, in which case I'm still not too worried. Uh, I should be fine. Uh, we do get taken out by that. Can we get any inform information from that? Uh, we were at like... It's hard to tell. Very hard to tell. Um, I can still, once again, just bring out my... I can bring you in. Click Aqua Jet. Uh, that's the safest play, so yeah, I'm going to go for that. Uh, no point in predicting. Again, Aqua Jet is absolutely fine. It does mean he gets another layer of spikes up, but... It is what it is. Um... Yeah, we just want to get damage. Click Aqua Jet again. He can go into Klefki, that's fine. Yeah, I was definitely scared of specs, hence why I didn't stay on turn one.
Now, you can definitely wear me down in this game, and that's going to be a bit of an issue, but... Um, isn't a gluttony. That is the hippo. I mean, this is going to take the hit just fine. It's also probably Rocky Helmet. I don't know if we've seen... Actually, I think we've seen left Because so I'm pretty sure he took spikes the first time around. I could be wrong on that. Uh, that does ridiculous damage. Okay, yeah, that's Rocky Helmet. So we are getting it very much chipped here. Very much chipped. Um, I kind of just want to go into... Vanillox. And claim one. I could also go into... My switchings don't exist to uh, Blacephalon at this point. So I do need to keep Urshfu as healthy as I can. Uh, you're looking really nice as an endgame wink on. Um, I think actually I want to go into... Uh, he can body press. If he body presses on the switch, then that's just a good play. Um, the safe play would have been going into... Uh, my Ferriform. I'm going to take a ton of damage from these hazards. But we also set up the Snow Warning. Uh, so he slacks off. Okay. Somewhat to be expected. I kind of want to click my Veil here. That's also part of me that wants to click Blizzard. Realistically, I've got another switch in. I mean, he has like two mons that he can switch into, so I'm just going to click Blizzard. If Chansey comes in, then not too bad. That is a Chansey, isn't it? Yeah. Should have clicked Veil. But it is what it is. We're going to get spikes. We're going to get some Blizzard damage. Which is not a lot at all. Get a bit of Hail Chip. <clears throat> and I kind of want to just go into you and click sub. Because I think that's going to be my best way of trying to deal with this. If he has got Blizzard on this Chansey, then fair play. It's going to be tough to try and work towards the end game of anything, really. Uh, so he actually switches and goes into Idol again. <clears throat> He's going to take spikes, going to take hail. I do want to protect. It's part of me that wants to protect it. And it's part of me that wants to keep Blizzard again. Uh, I mean, does a solar beam... I mean, solar beam is going to knock me out. Um, I can protect. Now I'll put him in spikes range so he can't come back in. I think that probably is the best play, so I'm going to click it. Let's me scout what he wants to go for. Shadow ball. Specs Shadow Ball will definitely hurt here. But it won't knock me out. Kind of like this for the Chansey as well, but... Um, yeah, I'm just clicking Earthquake. This thing's a big issue for me. Do you live that hit? I'm just going to eat you, pick up the KO. does mean that we are weakened. I think the hail may end on this turn, though. Okay. So if he was Scarfed, then nothing at this point is outspeeding my... Um, my Vanillox. One more Protect will mean that I'm in range to be able to sub. I mean, Paladon can easily come back in here. Icebreaker, that's... That's gonna be you. You take the spike. So no, you're not, you're not boots. Um, if he goes for a sub, that's bad for me. That's very bad. Somewhat forces a kill. 
This is very annoying. Um, I mean, I could go Pharaoh. How do I revenge this? At this point, not well at all. But, man, because he's brought sub belly drum in the past, so if I was to protect it and scout what he goes, what he locks himself into, I think it's still bad. So I've just got, I've got to click Earthquake, I think, at this point. Uh, he's going to Icicle Crash, okay. I could have protected to scout. Could have protected to scout there. Um, Rhyperia was nice for this endgame, but I don't think it was necessary for the endgame. Um, I can go into you. I mean, if he's Scarf... What's his switch into this now? It's still the same, isn't it? It's still the same switch in. I think I've got to get damage with you, and then I've got to try and set up with Mew. Late game. I think that's going to be my play. Because this is taking a ridiculous amount of damage. Going to take spikes, going to take that as well. Uh, I believe close combat to it KOs Hippo. Uh, close combat with spikes with 2 KO. I see no reason to click anything else. Yeah, I just stay clicking close combat. Because I can't remove the hazards, so I would die to hazards after. Yeah, that's doing ton of damage. <clears throat> and we shouldn't die to Rocky Helmet plus Sand. I think it's going to be close, but uh, Hippo going down is kind of nice. I just need to set up with Mew. I need a little bit of damage, or a little bit more damage. With, uh, on the Darmanitan. So we are going to die to sand, unfortunately. Um, I mean, I need damage on Darmanitan, so... Man, I wish I had close combat still on this. I swapped out for Earthquake. It's very unfortunate. Um, how much is Blizzard doing? Vanillax to a... Uh, Darm... I mean, Blizzard does do some good damage. I could also just set up Veil here. Uh, maybe Scarf Darm, then I don't set up Hail. Pharaoh is my best play against everything that's left. I'm gonna go Icebreaker, to be expected. It's gonna take a little bit more chip. Gonna take, uh, he isn't going to take sand, sorry. Um, I mean, realistically, this does beat his last two mons. I'd love to set up the Veil. If I set up a second DD, there's a chance that Mew can win. Uh, I mean, Flare Blitz is surely coming out here. Flare Blitz is surely coming out. Do I just want to sack off... I mean, I can just sack off... this, and then go Mew. And just click Dragon Dance. Yeah. I'm just trying to give an endgame where I don't just lose. I think... Um, losing Farrowthorn would be worse case scenario. If he doesn't kill me here for whatever reason... Okay, Fire Punch. Not Flare Blitz. But Fire Punch is probably better for me, actually. Uh, Fire Punch. 
not doing a lot to Mew. I think it's my chance, I gotta take it now. If Klefki comes in, I Earthquake. But I do believe I just got a Quick Dragon Dance here. And if he's not choice locked, he's not choice locked. But he does switch into the Klefki. That just sounds like the Klefki. Yeah, because. Yeah. Alright, so plus one to a Klefki. Now, if he Thunder Waves, I'll be fine. So, whether I do enough damage, quite frankly. I mean, I should knock this out of an Earthquake. I'm not going to get greedy and go for a second, because if he T-Waves, like we have the Lum. I think this is fine, because it locks me into Earthquake, right? Oh, Lagging Tail. Wow. That's some cool tech. Okay, so I'm in Lagging Tail. How fast am I? <laughs> um... Jeez, uh, yeah, that could be a problem. U turn might knock me out from here. That's some very, very cool tech. Get me Icebreaker. Um, I mean, I don't live a Fire Punch by any means. Uh, I'm 113. Just gonna do these. Calcs, because I might as well do the calcs. Like right, U-turn is gonna knock me out, regardless. I don't see a world in which I can possibly preserve this end game. Uh, yeah, U-turn's just doing too much. Lagging tail was a really good bring on his part. Really good bring. I, I think I gotta go Pharaoh, right? Because he's gotta click U turn. Yeah. Oh, I think I just barely got that. Nope. I thought I had two seconds left. But I guess I didn't. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. That is very unfortunate. Because, yeah, now I think we lose. If we manage to get Furrow in and get a bit of health on Furrow, we might have been okay. But, yeah, I wanted to switch there. I just took too long. That's so annoying, though. Like, I said I had two seconds left when I made that switch. I could be wrong. By all means, I could be wrong. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, I am going to click Leech Seed. This might well have Fire Blast as well, which make everything kind of void anyway. Seismic Toss, it's fine. Just trying to think how I could have played this endgame differently. I guess maybe if I let Pharaoh go down and kept... Yeah, that's super. I mean, a lagging tail was very cool. Very cool tech on his part. But I don't think we ever get to a point in which we're doing enough damage. I th think my best play is to spikes. Because he just never lets me get enough health to even potentially live this. Yeah, okay, lefties are going to get leech seed, but it's, it's just not going to be enough. It's very annoying because if I had managed to get that switch off, it would have put him in a position where he had have to decide. Like on what he does for the end game, so it is what it is, but it's on me for not clicking buttons quick enough. Just frustrating. <laughs> we are gonna lose this game 
one -oh. And I think the rest of the season is going to be incredibly tough to actually pick up any wins. But yeah, good game to Lucas. It is frustrating because it would have meant that the same situation would have played out except for I would have had Mew in the back here and he would have been locked into Fire Punch. I don't know if I would have been at enough health to live to Fire Punch. I assume I may have been. But that's my own fault for taking too long on that turn. Straight up, just my own fault. Um, the lagging tail really kind of saved the game for him. Uh, if I had clicked Dragon Dance again on that turn, maybe I had a better chance. Uh, there's a lot of what ifs in that game. But um, yeah, I'm going to just wrap it up. Uh, make sure to go check out Lucas' side and his channel. Uh, great guy. Like I said, been in a bit of a slump recently, like ourselves. Um, but he is still a fantastic battler. Comes up with really creative stuff like Lagging Tail Klefki. Um, it definitely worked out for him in that game. I potentially could have switched and tried to set up on the Chansey. Maybe that would have been a, a thing I could have done, but I, I, I'm, I'm just fearing morning at this point. But um, yeah, if you did enjoy battle, please leave a like, subscribe. Great Support is greatly appreciated. Uh, I'm not sure what's happening next gen with me uploading, but still, um, yeah, it's greatly appreciated. Until the next one, have a great day, guys. Peace.